Welcome back to Is It Still Good, the channel where we watch older films and let you know if they still hold up today. We're going to watch My Cousin Vinny, talk about it. 1992 Rated R runs two hours, and you guys voted on this one in the community tab. So you really wanted to hear my thoughts on My Cousin Winnie. And this is a comedy crime film, and this one stars Joseph the Pesci. One of my favorite actors ever. I've come to realize that I'm actually like a huge Joe Pesci fan, but he wasn't in like a ton of stuff, right? So he stars opposite Marissa Tomei, who's amazing in this, Ralph Macchio, who's Ralph Macchio in this, Mitchell Whitfield is Stan Rothenstein, and Fred Gwynn, you might recognize him from Pet Cemetery. he was the judge, he's really really good in it, and a bunch of other people, but on a whole, that's pretty much who's in it. Now, this was written by Dale Lawner and directed by Jonathan Lynn. And this came out in 92, like I said. I just watched it again. The storyline is Bill Gambini and Stanley Rothenstein are two friends from New York University who just received scholarships to UCLA. They decided to drive through the South. Once they arrive in Alabama, they stop at a local convenience store to pick up a few snacks. But no sooner than they leave the store, they are arrested. They thought that they were arrested for shoplifting, which they did by accident, but it turns out that they were arrested for murder and robbery. Worse, they are facing execution for the crime. Bill and Stan do not have enough money for a lawyer, so the good news is that Bill has a lawyer in his family, his cousin, Vincent Linguardia Gambini. The bad news is that Vinny is an inexperienced lawyer who has not been to trial yet. So Vinny has to defend his clients and battle an uncompromising judge, some tough locals, and even his fiancée, Mona Lisa Vito, who just does not know when to shut up, this is the storyline on IMDb, to prove his client's innocence. But he will soon realize that he's going to need help. That was written by John Wiggins. I don't know about like how Mona Lisa doesn't know when to shut up. I mean, she saves the whole thing. Spoiler. If you've watched this movie before, you realize that Vinny wouldn't be able to solve the case without Mona Lisa. Her knowledge of cars is second to none and it comes in clutch at the very end, for sure. That being said, the fun part of the story is these New York Italians are in the deep south and they stick out like sore thumbs and it's funny. That's basically it. But it's a good movie. It's rated R. There's a lot of swearing in it. But on a whole, it's damn near family friendly. My family loves this movie. We're all Sicilian, so we think this is funny. But My Cousin Vinny is kind of like a legendary movie in my family. It's always referenced and talked about. On IMDb, they rate this 7.6 out of 10. Do I agree? I don't know. I mean, I watched it again. It was funny. It was good. It's not for newer audiences, I'll tell you that. I showed it to somebody that was like, meh, about it. I had a good time with it. I think it's funny. I like the two Utes. I think it's a good movie, you know, and I, I do get some laughs out of it. I actually kind of relate to it more than anything. I did some traveling. I'm from New York, and I moved to the Deep South at one point in my life, and I kind of kept thinking about my cousin Vinny the whole time. It was really funny. So on a personal level, I really love this movie and always have, but if I had to be objective and rate this for newer audiences, I would put this at a 6.8 out of 10, and I know that seems somewhat low. It's really not. It's not bad. Anything above a 5 is worth a watch on this channel. Anything above a 6 is decent. A 6.8, that, that's a fine rating. It's funny. It's a good movie. It's kind of up there with like My Blue Heaven or something like that. I think it's like a little stronger than that, but it's like one of those movies. You know what I mean? It's a niche movie, and it's one of those movies that you got into because you had like an aunt or a grandparent that really liked it. That's kind of my cousin Vinny. It's a fun film. I really like Joe Pesci in it. I really love Marissa Tomei in it. I think she's just beautiful. And uh, this one actually did win an Oscar. Best Actress in a Supporting Role, Marissa Tomei. There you go. And I think she crushed. It, had, it got nominated for a bunch of stuff too. American Comedy Awards, Joe Pesci won Funniest Actor, Leading Role. I don't know, there's some other stuff, but it's a well-liked movie. People like it. I like it. Do I love it? Am I gonna tell you to rush out and watch it? No. But if you do watch it, you probably like it. And if you have seen it, tell me what you think. I mean, you guys voted for My Cousin Vinny in the community tab. So that means that most of you guys probably really like this movie a lot. So the catch is, when's the last time you've seen it? And that's the trick. You know what I mean? So I like this movie a lot more when I was younger than I do now. But it's not bad and I still had fun with it. However, my date was like, meh. So straight up on that, you know? I got a few yucks out of it for sure. And I love Joe Pesci. Anything Joe Pesci's in, I'll watch. Pretty much. So that's my two cents, 6.8. I think it's a very fair score, even possibly more fair than I was feeling at the time. But, you know, these things settle. You watch it, you let a few days go by, the score shifts in your head. You know what I mean? 
I was thinking 6.3, but now that I'm doing this recording, I'm thinking 6.8. That's fair. You know, it seems about right. Let me know what you think of my number score, and uh, check that community tab to see what we're going to do next week. Anyway, that's enough from me. I'll see you guys next time on Is It Still Good? Well, now, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the j- 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 of 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 the j- 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 um, jury, um, uh, uh.